Good afternoon. Today, we want to make dinosaur claws. And we're going to make them with origami. I'm going to use green paper because I want my dinosaurs to be green. But you can use any paper that you have in the house. And if you want to, you can color your paper first. Now, the first thing that we've got, as you can see, is that our paper is printer size paper. But what we really want is square paper. So to make the paper the square the size that we want, first of all, we're going to fold our paper in half. We're going to fold it in half crosswise like this. So, and then we're going to make two squares from this piece of paper. To do that, I'm going to take this edge, fold it down to the center, and then I'm going to cut off here and cut it in half so that I will have two squares. Let me show you how that works. I cut along here. Okay, and as you can see, oh, two squares. Now, cut it in half. And I have. Now you may, can make claws for every single finger, but I'm going to go T-Rex, so I'm going to make four claws. So I have to cut two pieces of paper. I do it one more time. I fold it in half. I fold the bottom edge up to the center to find out where my square should be. I cut this edge off. Then I cut my paper in half. Now, fortunately, what I want is a piece of paper with a line down the center from one corner to another, just like that. So it's kind of perfect. Now, I'm going to fold each of these two edges into this center line. Can you see how I'm doing that? One to the center line. The other to the center line. And what I have then I do it carefully. It's a piece of paper that looks kind of like a kite. That's what I want. Okay, now I'm going to fold it in half along that center line as well. And you can see that it's got a long point and a short point and another long point. Okay, what I want to do is have this point over on this side. So I've got this paint pointing towards my right hand. Okay, now I'm going to take this corner here and I'm going to fold it from right here, right at that corner, and I'm going to fold it over so it comes out just about like a like a square corner right there. You see how that works? Now I'm going to take this edge and wrap it around the back and then I'm going to wrap it around until just so it comes up to here. You can see there's a little tiny point and I'm going to put, tuck the little tiny point in. Now what that's going to give me, this looks kind of weird, but if you put your finger in there, ooh, dinosaur claw. The other thing I find though is that they tend to not stay very well at this corner. So sometimes I will just take a little bit of tape and I'll ta tape that tiny corner there so that it'll stay. And then I've got a dinosaur claw. Okay, let's very quickly make another one. Okay, so we've got, again, we take our square, we fold it in half along the line, we fold the edges into the center, this one and this one. We fold it in half. We turn it up this way so that this point is over here. 
and we're going to fold from this corner with this edge to make an edge that's pretty close to square there. Doesn't have to be exactly, but pretty close. Wrap it around, wrap it around, tuck it inside, give it a little piece of tape, and there we go. Now I've got two dinosaur claws. Let's see, can I do... Here I am, all T-Rex. Ah! Can you make a whole handful of dinosaur claws? Have fun with that.